Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. We're continuing with the Steelwell Star Reviews. And today's choice is the Bayou number 32. 6 by 52. There's the density. Has a good feel in the hand. I've noticed all of these cigars in the series do. Now, this cigar uses uh, bright and red Virginia leaf uh, with the most select St. James Parish Perique pipe tobacco added to a medium bodied Nicaraguan Puro. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. The uh, binder is San Andreas Negro Cotiva Tonto and then those uh, filler tobaccos that I told you about. But uh, that is the uh, choice for today. So let's get right to it. The new Stillwell Star Bayou number 32. Here it is. I don't really have a lot of a lot of aroma to the wrapper, not a lot. Good draw. There's a little bit of flavoring into the cold draw, but not a tremendous amount. It doesn't really stand out. First flavors are again a little more in line with what I would get from a cigar. But you got citrus peel, peach, and leather. Although I don't know if I've ever said that combination before in a regular cigar. Black pepper at about seven. Interesting start. There is the sweetness there of the peach. The citrus peel takes away some of that sweetness and the leather takes away a little more on the other end so let's just see if it, how it develops but that is how you start <laughs> and in the first third Cigar is definitely improving as it goes. By and large, you have the same flavor notes, but they have switched intensities quite a bit. The citrus peel has pulled back just a little, enough to let the now emerging sweet peach, very sweet, very pronounced peach come forward. There's also brown sugar and the leather has also pulled back just a little, but it's still definitely in the mix. One thing I want to check. Okay. I'll stick with what I just said. So you've got elevated, sweeter peach, citrus peel, and leather. So that's just three main flavors and and some brown sugar. I, did, I, I forgot it. But it's not a whole lot else surrounding it, a little minute amount of this or that. It's pretty much that's what you, what you have. The finish is some of that peach. With pretty good lingering black pepper. I thought there was leather there for a second, and it's not. It is a peach with pretty good lingering uh, black pepper. Medium body, right now it's not anything above medium, but I said at the outset, this is more in line of a cigar flavors, and now it definitely is, and it's moving in that direction, so hopefully it stays that way as far as I'm concerned, but uh, the, and it takes this long, which is what, 20, you know, 
I, I noticed it at about 25, 23, 25 minutes. It started ramping. It, it ramped up to that point. It takes a long time from the light up to get to these nicer, sweeter notes. Make, make a mental note of that. But be that as it may, here at the first third, it's quite good. I would rate it 92. And uh, the way it ramped up to get to this point, I'm just waiting to see if it's going to continue to go up or if, it, or if we're going to level out and drop back down. Uh, again, I haven't had this cigar before, so I don't know. So uh, I'm as curious as you are. Let's find out. In the second third and out of nowhere we have black coffee and it's somewhat earthy the peach notes are still there but they're at a lower amount very little brown sugar the citrus peel is even reduced the leather is still there but it's in a reduced amount there's just a lot of black coffee and now one more negative there's a little bitterness in the cigar. I, I did not see that coming. The finish is still primarily peach. With a minute influence of the black coffee now and good, very good lingering black pepper, <clears throat> medium to full, medium to full. But the cigar has taken a step back and I didn't expect that and I didn't want that. But uh, the uh, the elevated black coffee, which took, took away those nicer, sweeter notes, it just it, it all but wiped them out. I mean, they're still there, but there's just such a lower amount. But for the second third, I would rate 88. 88 for the second third because it's, uh, it's, it's lost quite a bit and I'm not a fan of all that elevated black coffee now in this particular cigar. So let's see what we have in the final third. Down to the end, so let's wrap it up. By and large, the cigar stayed true from the sec second, third on, with the exception of some of uh, some of the bitterness did go away. But it's a lot of elevated coffee. The sweeter notes are very subdued. Finishes peach and nutmeg with very good lingering black pepper. I would say it's medium to full. We're going to maintain 88 for the final third. It didn't move enough to change it. And your overall score is 89.33. Not a bad cigar, but not great. So there you have it. The Stillwell Star Bayou number 32. 89.33.